I want this picture to be a commentary on modern conditions, stark realism, the problems that confront the average man. But with a little six. A little, but I don't want to stress it. I want this picture to be a document. I want to hold a mirror up to life. I want this to be a picture of dignity, a true canvas of the suffering of humanity. But with a little six. With a little sex in it. How about a nice musical? How can you talk about musicals at a time like this with the world committing suicide, with corpses piling up in the street, with grim death gargling at you from every corner, with people slaughtered like sheep? Maybe they'd like to forget that. Then why do they hold this one over for a fifth week at the music hall? For the ushers? It died in Pittsburgh. Like a dog. What do they know in Pittsburgh? They know what they like. If they knew what they like, they wouldn't live in Pittsburgh. That's no argument. If you pander to the public, you'd still be in the horse age. You think we're not? Look at Hopalong Castle. You look at them. We'd still be making keystone chases bathing beauties, custard pie And operas. a fortune. Fortune. Of course, I'm just a minor employee here, Mr. LeBrand. He's starting that one again. I wanted to make you something outstanding, something you could be proud of, something that would realize the potentialities of film as the sociological and artistic medium that it is, yeah. with a little sex in it, something like Something that. like Capra. I know. What's the matter with Capra? Look, you want to make a brother without that? Yes. Now, wait a minute. Then go ahead and make it. What you're getting, I can't afford to argue with you. That's a fine way to start a man out on a million dollar production. You want it, you've got it. I can take it in the chin. I've taken it before. Not from me, you haven't. Not from you, Sully, that's true. Not with pictures like So Long, Sarong, Hey, Hey, and the Haylock, Ants and Your Plants of 1939, but they weren't about traps and lockouts, sweatshops, people eating garbage in alleys, and living in piano boxes and ash cans and... And Foy. They're about nice, clean young people who fell in love with laughter and music and legs. Now take that scene in Hey, Hey, and the Haylock. But you don't realize conditions have changed. There isn't any work, there isn't any food. These are troublous times. What do you know about trouble? What do I know about trouble? Yes, what do you know about trouble? What do you mean, what do I know about trouble? Just what I'm saying. You want to make a picture about garbage cans. What do you know about garbage cans? When did you eat your last meal out of one? Well, what's that got to do with it? He's asking you. You want to make an epic about misery. You want to show hungry people sleeping in doorways. The newspapers around them. You want to grind 10,000 feet of hard luck. And all I'm asking you is, what do you know about hard yes. luck? Yes. What do you mean, what do I know about hard luck? Don't you think no. I've... What? Yeah, I'm not. I sold newspapers till I was 20, then I worked in a shoe store and put myself through law school at night. Where were you at 20? Well, I was in college. When I was 13, I supported three sisters and two brothers and a widowed mother. Where were you at 13? I was in boarding school. I'm sorry. Well, you don't have to be ashamed of it, Sully. That's the reason your pictures have been so light, so cheerful, so inspiring. They don't stick with messages. That's why I paid you 500 a week when you were 24. 750 when you were 25. 1,000 when you were 26. When I was 26, I was getting 18. 2,000 when you were 27. I was getting 25 then. I just opened my shooting gun. 3,000 after thanks for yesterday. 4,000 after answering your I plan. suppose you're trying to tell me I don't know what trouble is. Yes. In a nice way, Sully. Well, you're absolutely right. I haven't any idea what it is. People always like what they don't know anything about. Certainly had a lot of nerve wanting to make a picture about human suffering. You're a gentleman to admit it, Sully. But then you are anyway. Thank you.